Hello and welcome to Monoval Music Machine. I'm your host, Sydney Young. And with me today is a band of us playing one of their songs, Dead Man's Grave. One, two, three, four. husband Trey on electric and acoustic. We got Andrew on the keys, Emily over there on vocals, and we've got Sorry, man, Jordan. He just started, he just started with us last night. I'm sorry, Jordan. We got Jordan on the drums, man. Ah, sorry about that. All right, next song is going to be Drums Are Hard. No, nope. yes. Yeah, yeah drums are hard. So here we go. Always finding different ways to waste my time Scared of all the colors, so I say I'm colorblind The things I want are 
are just too hard and I give up after just a couple of tries. Anyone can say the things that they want to do, but how many actually make the first move? We swallow all our dreams to die and reminisce the days we could have tried. shadows and the screams just noises from the fan I wish I could turn the light on but I'm too scared to speak or stand
Well, thank you so much, guys. That was amazing. Now, be sure to stay tuned because after the break, I'll be interviewing Mara and Trey. Montevallo is listed as one of the most beautiful public college campuses, but it has so much more than good looks. It's been named a College of Distinction seven years running. Plus, it offers 75 majors and the chance to belong to more than 90 campus organizations. Visit youbelong at montevallo.com to learn more. Your success depends upon effective communication. Visit montevallo.edu forward slash COFA. You create your future in communication studies and mass communication. You belong at Montevallo. Hello and welcome back to Montevallo Music Machine. I'm here with Trey and Mara Wood. Trey, Mara, you two started this band, correct? Yep. Okay, now how long ago did you start the band? 11 years. Yeah, 11 yeah. years ago when we were in high school with each other. Um, I, I'm sorry, I just completely lost my train of thought. That's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so 11 years ago uh, when we were in high school, we started the band. Um, and I met her in a recording club at our high school um, and heard her singing while I was recording her. And I was like, wow, she's freaking awesome. I need to go meet her. Uh, so that's, that's so when we formed a band within the first month of knowing each other mm -hmm. and then started dating within like three months and then got married very shortly after so okay. yeah. nice. 10 years married now this year mm -hmm. nice awesome yeah. so the the other members of the band were these the original members to the band from 10 years ago no no, uh, so Andrew um, is one of my best friends and um, I actually met him at a uh, a wedding and you know we just kind of quickly became friends and then best friends and then eventually it was like hi hey, man I just bought this Nord piano can we start like jamming a little bit and so we did and uh, that's kind of how that started getting formed and then we brought Emily along and and uh, as our harmony uh, she sings harmonies and and then uh, the drummer is actually brand new he mm -hmm. he in fact we just started playing together last night so Nice. Yeah. Fairly new then. Yeah. So all of your songs are original songs, correct? Yes. Okay, so what would you describe your genre as? Alternative folk. Okay. That's something we've battled with back and forth, but mm -hmm. that's what we've landed on, alternative folk. Okay. Um, who or what inspires your music when you write? Um, there's some songs of like people that I've encountered at work or um, just like in your everyday life just people who are struggling where you know I can really relate to that because I struggle a lot too mm -hmm. um, so some of it is from people who I know are struggling to to give them a slice of hope and some of it is about how I've struggled and the Lord has brought me through so it's kind of a, a balance of both a lot of these songs are kind of journal entries and then they turn into a song yeah, yeah. Um, who are who is y'all's favorite artist I like Adele. Adele? Okay. Mm -hmm. King's Kaleidoscope. King's Kaleidoscope. Okay. Yep. Um, so tell me also, um, why did you form this band? I know you said you formed it in high school. Was it just for fun at that time and then it just took off? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was just for fun um, in the beginning. Uh, and then, I don't know, we, we kind of started playing gigs and stuff and playing around Birmingham. Um, and then... We had to get real jobs yeah I had to get real jobs and then we had to just kind of come back to this and and yeah we're just now coming back to this 10 years from then mm -hmm. um, so yeah okay. um, so I know you mentioned Birmingham where is that where y'all play most of the time yes okay. yeah so again we're like we're just now getting started again so we're not playing anywhere right now mm -hmm. um, but yeah back in the day we'd be playing at Zydeco and the Nick and um, all those uh, really cool venues in downtown Birmingham so uh, what is the future plans for the band now that we've reformed? It's a good question. We've been talking a lot about that. Um, I would love to at least just get a whole album recorded. That's mm -hmm. our first goal. Yeah. Um, so we're starting to record next week. Um, long term, it would be super fun to just play for a living. Um, we just are going to see how this turns out and what God's holding for us in the future. So. Yeah, it would be. Uh, it would be awesome to get to do this for a living one day, but the ultimate goal is we feel like, you know, the, the enemy really has a stronghold on people and their mental health mm -hmm. these days. Mm -hmm. And that's something that, that Mara struggled with, which you can hear a lot of in the lyrics. And 
you know, our ultimate goal um, is not to be famous or, you know, or even to have, you know, five or 600 followers or anything like that. But ultimately, it's to glorify Christ and hopefully the few people that listen to us hear that message and know that there is certainly hope out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Final question. Um, what advice do you have to any aspiring artists out there? I would say carve out time for your free time, for creativity. Mm -hmm. If you don't make that a part of your daily life, you're, you're not gonna create very much and what you create is not super great. I don't know, we have every week, we carve out time to gather as a group and to gather individually and I don't know. Yeah. I think you have to carve out time for creativity. You do, you cannot be lazy about it. And for years and years, I wanted to be. And it was always just kind of a fun idea. You know, like I said, there's been this long hiatus of not doing music with anybody. And for years I was just kind of like, oh yeah, Mara's writing this and that sounds really cool. And then I just wouldn't do anything with it. And we wouldn't put music to it or anything. And then eventually, I don't know, the mentality just changed and it just clicked. Like, all right, every single week we're gonna get together and we're gonna work on these songs. And so I think it changed a lot when we wrote Drums Are Hard because yeah. it's talking about doing all these things, like talking about doing something great but never acting on yeah. it. So I think Kind of that song was the turnaround to start. All right, let's do it. You know? So anyway, thank you guys so much. Truly inspiring. Now we will be back right after this break to hear more of their songs. Montevallo is listed as one of the most beautiful public college campuses, but it has so much more than good looks. It's been named a College of Distinction seven years running. Plus, it offers 75 majors and the chance to belong to more than 90 campus organizations. Visit youbelong at montevallo.com to learn more. Thank you for joining us again. Now I am still here with a band of us and we will be hearing two more of their songs. Guys, take it away.
ripples in the stream. Y'all ready? Yeah. Let's do it.
All right, thank you so much, guys. That was a band of us, and we just appreciate you guys watching Monoval Music Machine, and we'll see you again next time.